Hi everyone, thank you for joining me to a new video by Original Video Reviews. As you can see, we have here a new package and as always, we're going to find out together what's inside and how to use this thing. So let's not waste any time. Let me grab the Swiss knife. Here's the Swiss knife. And we're going to unpackage this thing. Well boys and girls, especially the girls, what we have here is a 6 buttons USB gamepad by a brand named Datafrog, which is a replica of the controller used in the Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive game console. In the description to this video, you can find the specific model of this controller. The reasons why I chose to review this game controller are because, number one, I'm a big fan of retro game consoles, number two, I never owned the Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive, so this is my way to compensate myself. If today you take a look at this gamepad, it might seem to you quite a simple one, but back in the 90s it was a revolutionary gamepad, so while I'm introducing to you this replica controller, I would like to share with you some interesting notes about the Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive controller that hopefully will help you to realize how special it was. This one is colored black, it's made from plastic, it will fit PC computers for sure, and according to the seller, it's also compatible with Mac computers, the cable is 1.8 8 meters long and the controller weighs approximately 120 grams. For those of you who don't know, the Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive was one of the two most successful 16-bit game consoles back in the early and mid 90s along with the Super Nintendo. It is noticeable that this controller is a replica since it's missing any logos and although the quality of the materials feels good, this is not the same feeling as the original Genesis controller. This specific controller offers an omnidirectional D-pad, next to it there is the start button and it's very interesting to note that the Japanese version controller of the Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive was blue, the PAL version had a red start button and the North American version had a grey start button. On the right side of the controller you can notice 6 buttons, A, B, C and X, Y, Z. The original Genesis slash Mega Drive controller had only 3 buttons A, B and C and later on it was updated to the 6 buttons version which is similar to this one and includes the additional X, Y and Z buttons. The Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive 6 buttons game controller was used later on as the basis for the controller of the Sega Saturn 32-bit game console. It's also very interesting to note that there were two types of 6 buttons controllers that differentiated from each other by their size. One version was considered the normal size version while the version that was intended for the Japanese market was a bit smaller since the people who live in Asian countries tend to have smaller hands. And this is something that passed on to the Sega Saturn and at some point even to the Xbox. I think that I already mentioned that in a different video review that I made about the Super Nintendo gamepad, but one of the main reasons for releasing a 6 buttons gamepad was games such as Street Fighter 2, in the Sega case it was Street Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition that used the 6 buttons layout. The original Sega controller also offered a mode button that allowed to choose between 3 to 6 buttons since some games did not function well or did not function at all with the 6 buttons game controller. The Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive controllers are notable for being among the first ergonomically designed controllers and it can be seen in the curved shape which was a big change compared to the rectangular gamepads that were more common back at that time. Even if you never play the Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive game console or you just don't have it anymore, you can always download an emulator software that will allow you to play those games with this game controller on your computer and relive the experience. I can tell you that I've been using Mami32 emulator for the past 10 years and I tested this controller with several games and it just works wonderful. The response time is very accurate with no noticeable delay, it's very convenient to play with for a long period of time and overall I think that for the several dollars that you can get this controller for, this is a great purchase. Well boys and girls, 
especially the girls. This was my video review about this USB replica of the Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive game console by Datafrog. For further information about this item, please check the description to this video. And if you still have any questions about it, please comment on this video and I will do my best to come up with an answer. If this video review was helpful and you enjoyed watching it, I invite you to like this video. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channels OVR Fashion, OVR Kids and of course this channel Original Video Reviews. And there's also the Facebook page and the Google Plus page and the Twitter account and the Instagram account so there are plenty ways for you to follow Original Video Reviews. I would like to thank you for watching another great video by Original Video Reviews. Until next time, bye bye.